I'm doing a test right now. It is 80% humidity inside of this sealed, non-vented beehive, and it's around 54% humidity here in the uh, ambient temperature. And so you can take a look at the screenshot I just took, and now I'm gonna turn the phone around, and we're gonna see if there's any condensation inside of this non-vented beehive. So I'm taking the top cover off, and I'm getting this set up before I actually set everything up. I've got a spacer in here that I'll be putting some uh, feed in later. So I'll take that off. I've got two inch styrofoam on the top. Again, it's 80% humidity inside. This is perfectly dry. There is no humidity on here, no moisture on here at all. Here is my humidity temperature sensor here. This is the GoV. H5100. I'll go into more details in this in future videos. And then I've got the uh, inner cover. Turn this over. That is perfectly dry everywhere. There's no moisture, no condensation, not, not even any dampness. And right here, I've got some nectar that I'm feeding them. So even with the nectar, and the bees uh, working in here, creating heat. There's no condensation, no uh, humidity buildup inside of the hive. And I'm just putting this here on the top. And you can see from the front, I've got everything closed off except for I have a very small entrance reducer. So I've got that one inch hole for the bees to get in and out of. So having a 30% difference or 25-30% difference in humidity level inside of the hive you would think there would be condensation in a non-vented hive there's no condensation so does that bust the myth that you need to have a vented hive in winter uh, it's not winter yet it's fall and it's really cold as you can see there's hardly any bees flying today because the wind and the coldness. So I don't know if it busts the myths, but we're gonna work through this in winter and I'll be giving updates on humidity and temperature levels inside the hive and outside the hive because I don't think you should have ventilation in, a, in a, the top of a hive during winter. I think you're causing a chimney effect and you're actually causing the bees to consume more honey because they're having to vibrate and keep the hive warm the the uh, cluster of bees warm because they're getting a cold draft in there if there's no draft because there's no chimney effect with an opening at the bottom and an opening at the top where air can just pass through because the top doesn't have ventilation then they should be able to save their energy because it'll be warmer inside with no top ventilation I haven't put on the exterior uh, insulation, I'll be doing that later, but I just want to show you the reason why I'm going to be doing this is because it doesn't look like you need any top ventilation and it looks like it actually be detrimental to your health of your hive by having ventilation. So uh, if you want to learn what my experience is over winter, and I'm in Idaho, so we have a true hard winters here, not compared to Wyoming or South Dakota, but anyway, very, you know, sub-zero temperatures, low humidity in the air and high humidity in the, in the uh, beehive. Make sure you subscribe and like and comment on this video. Tell me what you think the outcomes will be, what your experiences have been, have been with keeping your bees healthy in northern United States cold winters. This is David Gilmore known as LDS Prepper reminding you if you are prepared with proper insulation and no ventilation for your beehives in cold winters I think your beehives will be get through winter stronger and you have stronger hives come out spring. Subscribe and like and comment below you'll get notices for the updates as I post them here.